So as per her Instagram bio, she is sometimes a mermaid, sometimes a unicorn, but most times a business boss. Welcome Haiku DeSesto. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. Where are your wings? <laughs> well, it's hidden for today. Oh, secret <laughs> unicorn, undercover. Uh, so when you're not busy with your mermaid duties and other mm-hmm. things, you're a successful photographer and videographer. Mm-hmm. And I want to ask you, so how has your own personal life philosophy translated into your work? Well, if there's one thing that my papa has instilled in me, it's just to always do good at what you do. No, not do good at what you do, but do best at what you do. So this is why sometimes like, I try to like, double check things in the office and make sure that everything's fine and um, clients' um, uh, requirements are met. Because um, I there's that there's my papa in my ear saying that no good is not enough it always has to be best. <laughs> so yeah, always putting your best foot forward. But also I can just see sitting across from you, you've got this very dynamic hairstyle, very creative flair, without you even opening your mouth. So <laughs> part of you is bringing out the best in everyday life with who you interact with and what you do. Is that mm. right? Well, I try my best. Like. You know, like sometimes I just try to throw in this sense of positivity to everyone because, you know, you never know what other people's burdens are. And it's just nice to, you know, just smile at the person right next to you. And I guess the hair gives them a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of sunshine in the day. I love it. (laughs) Definitely. I'm dazzled by it. (laughs) You sold me. So you were born, you grew up in the Philippines Mm -hmm. and then you moved here in 2010 to Mm -hmm. Dubai. So what was the reason to come here? So it was my papa who moved here first. He was here for quite a while. So he played like a significant role in my career and personal life. And then, um, yeah, so when I first came here, it was me working in a photo studio. Um, And then the whole family was here. My mom, my son and everyone was here. So um, it kind of made sense. And then we just started, I just started building a career here then. Are they still based here? Yes, my parents are still here. So yeah, it's glad to have family and home cooked meals at home. I can't complain. I bet. <laughs> I'm coming over. And uh, Oh yeah, you should. Uh, is he also a photographer? Has um, he influenced your... Oh, my papa. Yes. He, yeah, he was a journalist, actually. He used to do film um, and documentaries in the Philippines. And I kind of grew up with it. Like literally, they were editing in our living room. So yeah. It's been a born and bred. And now, so less than two years after relocating here, you actually launched your own business. Mm. So what was it about the UAE that prompted you to take this next step in your career? I say that the UAE is such an amazing playground. Like, um, it has been, um, I can't complain with how the growth of my career has been here. Although, I always make sure that, like how we say it in the office, is that we let our work speak for itself. We introduce ourselves second, but we make sure that it's the work speaking. So as long as, um, I tell everyone, as long as you play your cards right and you make sure that um, whatever you do is your best, then I guess people will just see it and it will come out naturally, I guess. Well, that is certainly true. I mean, since launching, you've scored brand ambassadorships. You've appeared on NBC and OSN TV shows. You are even one of 30 Netflix girl boss for the UAE and MENA. Uh, what's been your biggest pinch yourself moment so far? Oh wow. Um, do you know what? I try to just live it by the day sometimes. Although, like, look, literally before I came here today, like, this is my first ever radio show interview, and I was like sat down in the car and I'm like, oh wow, I'm turning 30 in two weeks, and like ah, everything is just that. coming in, <laughs> like in, like it's just, uh, it's just overwhelming, and um, like everything is overwhelming for me. Like it's it it can be like. It, there's yeah everything is like it's just just taking yeah, each moment as it comes as it comes and just like freaking out <laughs> and then having that reason to celebrate yes. yeah so that's how I see it like I don't freak out because then I have this reason to go out later and have fun with friends oh well <laughs> I mean I'm gonna snip it in now happy birthday for two weeks time oh, thank you so exciting that's <laughs> a huge milestone well we are live on Instagram Dance FM UAE I'll be right back with Haiku this is Loud Luxury with Brando it's called Body 97.8 Dance FM. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. We are live on Instagram, Dance FM UAE, and I'm back with Haiku DeSesto. So your reputation precedes you. I mean, you have already worked with A-listers, Sir Richard Branson, Christian Louboutin, model Gigi Hadid, even Mariah Carey. Now that's a very broad spectrum of personalities to tailor to. So the question on my mind is, what is your creative process when collaborating with celebrities? 
of all sorts. <laughs> First of all, like um, whenever we get a brief that there's a celebrity coming in, like I always put into my head that look, they're human beings with extra amazing talent, but they're still human beings, and it's my job to capture and deliver what is needed. So whenever we meet a celebrity, we always ask them what their angles are. Most of them have specific. Um, details in their faces that they want to show or they want to hide and um, it's been amazing though I can't complain it's also nice seeing them how they work around behind the scenes how they act around other people and um, yeah it's been it's, it's pretty cool that's a bit juicy actually so you would know when they say oh you know what I really want that edited that photoshopped oh I like it when I'm looking natural this way is that true well we well I'm no, sure well, we try to not one. edit <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but most of them like they're all very natural in front of the camera and um, this is why I say like look I'm a photographer I can anyone can take an amazing photo but I'm also blessed with having amazing subjects in front of me so it's it makes my job a lot easier too oh, and you've also built up a really strong clientele here yes. you've even partnered with social media stars like money kicks is this an avenue you want to develop further in support of other rising uh, content creators in the UAE? Oh yes, of course. Like um, we always say that now, like we're a team of eleven, so we have an extra hands in the office, and we've always wanted to collaborate or like um, help others out, as like how I like other people help me out when I started in the beginning too. So it's like giving back to the community at the same time. Yeah, nice. As you say, because Dubai has really nurtured your talent, and mm -hmm. now you want to pass that on. And it's like um. It was a lot of support that I got in the beginning too. So um, that's one that I, like, main reason that I want to give back as well. Mm. So. I love it. And another element that sets you apart from other professionals in the industry is your blog. So what made you to decide to share this private side of your life? It, was it a business opportunity or purely because you just like to separate work and your own creative flair? So before my account was like more of... Um, it was more of me and my personal things and then it started becoming a, a work account and I was like okay where can I post them double chins and my <laughs> random things and I you know I do not see any double chins <laughs> oh it's hiding at the moment <laughs> but like for example like me doing my karaoke like and there's clients and everything and I'm like okay uh, where do I post my embarrassing not things not appropriate <laughs> hence I do the personal one and it's okay. like more of me being with friends and also uh, we want our clients to see that we're just we work hard and we play hard so that's like it's a massive sticker in the office so I like that exactly because people as you're saying celebrity or not we're all human True. so people still want to see sometimes mm. your relaxed side mm. you know they want to see the uh, unicorn haiku in action <laughs> when she's not in the office <laughs> I'll be checking those stories out. Like, um, to finish up, what is next for Lady Boss Haiku? So this season, we're expanding um, on um, the agency side of our uh, team, which is Soul Trap Studio. We are on the final stages of like um, cleaning it up and everything. So yeah, it should come out pretty soon, and we're pretty excited about it. But like, it's a it's another source of pressure and stress, but I cannot complain. But you've got the skill set, you've got the team now. So oh yes, my team plays a massive role, massive, massive role. Like It's not like before that I freelance, I do things on my own, I die and I live again. But now it's like everyone. Well, so that's, yeah, you share the support, share the dramas, but uh, then the ship sails. Yeah, but we always end up having fun and just we always just eat in the office. So yeah, most of our posts in the office are like just eating really. <laughs> oh, you need fuel to get through it. Well, exciting times, <laughs> Haiku. And along with that, your 30th coming up happy birthday for october 7th it's been a pleasure <laughs> amazing thank you so much you can check out our full beats and bloggers interview at dance fm uae hitting on with anton powers thinking about you this is dance fm